These pictures were filmed on Monday afternoon, and they reveal, for the first time, the damage that was inflicted during the four-day siege. Here, the entrance to the second floor, where gunmen opened fire on a children's cookery competition. The sheer drop where the copper collapsed, reportedly brought down by the military's attempt to end the standoff. Down there is Nakumat, the supermarket where so many of the hostages died. And this is what's left of the supermarket now. On the morning of Saturday, 21st September, this mall had been packed with hundreds of shoppers. And in a matter of seconds, it was turned into a killing ground. Key questions remain unanswered, like whether there had been warnings that an attack was looming. How many died? Who were the gunmen? And how many escaped? Somali militant Al-Shabaab has claimed responsibility. It says security officials here still have no idea what really happened. Kenya's politicians saw this carnage today for themselves. They too are demanding answers. We'll do everything possible to ensure that we get, come to the truth of this matter to understand the history of this matter, to understand the actors in this matter, and to understand the failures in this matter. The mall itself remains a crime scene, and the media is still being kept out of here. Wabat Nagela, CCTV, Nairobi.